Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Mobius Scrub and in this video I'm going to talk about a few myths that still surround the Android. Some of these were true back when smartphones were not as good and Android was not as mature, but things are different now. The first one, using task manager to kill all apps will speed up my phone. Android is fairly great at optimizing usage of memory when it comes to running apps. And if RAM falls short, the Android system will automatically kill an old one to make room for a new app. So you won't really notice a significant boost when you kill apps. In fact, you will experience your phone being slow when you relaunch the apps that you closed. Some of you still might disagree and might say that clearing apps helps increase performance. This could have been true and this could have worked on older versions of Android. But the more recent Android versions handle this really well and smartphones today are absolutely capable of multitasking without any issues. The second myth is that being an Android user, I'm prone to viruses or malware and I need an antivirus software. Well, absolutely not. Android has come a long way and the days are long gone when this was a problematic area. However, if you do download applications from unknown sources that are not Google Play verified, then having one won't hurt. But if you are downloading from unknown sources, then you're basically inviting trouble if you don't know what you're doing. As long as you are downloading and installing apps from the Google Play Store, you are safe as Google checks each app thoroughly for any kind of malware when the developer uploads it to the Play Store. And even if there is a slight bit of questionability on the app's authenticity, Google also has a manual review process where a human being intervenes and checks the app themselves. And even when you install apps, just making sure that you don't allow for installation through unknown sources and keeping an eye on the kind of permissions you're providing an app at the time of installation or afterwards can help you stay more than just safe and be very sure of what the app is actually doing and the kind of data it is accessing. The third myth is that clearing cache memory can boost my phone's performance. First, let me tell you what cache memory does. Cache memory stores content that you repeatedly access so that you can view it faster or reload that content faster. So for example, when you open Instagram, all the profile pictures, uh, the, some of the videos that you've watched or the photos that you've already seen show up instantly when you open the app because they are cached. Now, if you clear your cache memory, that storage is gone. And then after that, when you launch Instagram, it's going to download all of that content again to your cache memory, which actually slows your phone down, eats more battery, downloads more data and fills up the cache anyway. So let me just demonstrate that to you. Let me go into my storage and clear cache for Instagram. But before that, let me go and uh, refresh this so that I'm in the latest bit. All right. And let me now head back and clear the cache. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to now open Instagram again just to show what happens. So let me first close the app. Now, there'll be a slight delay. There you go. So that delay that you saw was because it downloaded all of that data again. Now I've got a Galaxy Note 8 and that's fast enough to do this fairly quick. But you know, in general phones, it's not going to be that fast. So apps like Clean Master, you know, there are plenty of apps that do this for you. They release all the junk and the cache information for each app in a single shot. You can do that, but again, Try and understand when you need to do it. When content becomes too old, you know, and then let's say about a month or let's say two weeks for some people, then maybe once in a while, it's not a bad idea. But you know, doing it on a regular basis, it's just going to slow your phone down, eat more battery, and it's going to keep filling the cache every time you open apps. So I suggest you decide onto the frequency. The fourth one is that turning off location or Bluetooth will significantly improve battery life maybe a bit but not significantly this again used to be the case with older smartphones and older versions of android the world today is a lot different you've got smarter than ever powerful smartphones enhanced android operating system very mature now and you've got wi-fi and location and bluetooth radio protocols that are very smart very energy efficient than it was ever even something like location settings offers you a lot of options to choose from just to pinpoint how smart they've gotten. So it's not going to save you a lot of battery, but yes, a bit. And the last one is when people think having my brightness set to auto brightness is going to save me battery. Well, how can it? Your sensor is all the time understanding the ambient conditions and adjusting for brightness. Your sensor is always active. So when you set your brightness to automatic, your sensor is just activated and looking at 
how how your lighting is right and you don't want your sensor to be doing that all the time because it's just consuming battery when it's doing that so set it to manual if you're not moving a lot that will really help so those were some of the myths that I thought Android users have and I highly suggest that you guys move on from these myths because Android's come a long way and I'm sure your phone has as well. Don't forget to subscribe. If you really like the video, leave me a thumbs up and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys.